Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jeevan. I'm a fourth year medical student studying in Poland. If you guys would like to know which Polish medical university I go to, well, make sure to go and check out this video here. And well, uh, let's get straight into the video, shall we? So, in today's video, as the title suggests, I'm going to be talking about the best laptop for medical school. So, I'm going to split this up into three parts. First being being realistic and telling you what type of laptop you need for medical school. Number two being my recommendations. And number three, my personal opinion slash recommendation. So, make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to know, in my personal opinion, what I think is the best laptop for medical school. Let's start with number one. So, these are the general uses for your laptop as a medical student. First, collecting slash storing lectures tutorials, PDFs, books, research papers, storing a bunch of files on your laptop. Second, making notes. However, some prefer handwritten. Using the internet, of course, for research for school and obviously for other things as well. Entertainment, like watching Netflix, YouTube. And finally, of course, during the COVID times, the laptop is needed to attend online lectures, do online exams, and of course sharing notes and etc. So in order for you to do all of these things, your laptop needs to have the following features. It has to have a good battery life so that you don't have to constantly be carrying your charger everywhere you go. As a medical student, you're going to be going to a bunch of lectures, you're going to be going to the hospital, you might go to the library, so on and so forth, and you generally just want to have a good battery life, a good internal storage. I would recommend a baseline of 256 gigabyte and more, of course, fantastic because that's going to help with storing all these documents. Now, of course, bear in mind that obviously as you go on to the next year, you don't have to keep all the documents for first or second year in your laptop you can just transport them and put them into an external hard drive a decent processor so a minimum of Intel Core i5 processor but i3 also shouldn't be too bad but just to be safe I would recommend definitely a good i5 core processor with a RAM of minimum of 6 gigabyte and upper would be fantastic reason being having a good Intel Core processor and fairly good RAM like 6 gigabytes and higher is going to allow you to have many documents open in the same time as you're studying, as you're doing research, so on, you are going to be having many, many things open in the same time and you don't want things to be freezing up and so on, so definitely that. And finally, when it comes to the size, well, you only need a 13-inch laptop. You don't need a 15-inch laptop whatsoever. As I said, you're going to be going to lectures, tutorials, hospitals, libraries, cafes, so on, friend space, and so on. You are going to be carrying your laptop quite a bit, and you don't want your laptop to be cumbersome or heavy, and a 15-inch will take up space everywhere. It'll take up space in your bag, it'll be heavy, and generally in any platform that you put your laptop on, like a table and so on, it takes up space space there isn't much space in order for you to write notes on a notebook if you have to I have a friend who has a 15 inch MacBook Pro and he regrets buying it because as he says it's just too big uh, the 15 inch is good if you want to just keep the laptop in your room and when you're going to lectures you only make handwritten notes then yeah in that manner if that's your sort of style then of course in that case go for it but I'm just saying generally laptops are taken to the lectures and so on so yeah these are definitely the main things I would definitely recommend that you bear in mind when buying yourself a new laptop now going on to point number two my recommendations these are my recommendations in terms of the laptops that being the macbook air the macbook pro the huawei matebook and the microsoft surface pro now when it comes to the macbook pro which is what i have i would only get this or the other laptops but with high specs or top specs like 512 gigabyte internal storage, i7 core processor with like an 8 or 12, 16 gigabyte RAM, all those fancy things. I would only get those things if you are someone who, other than being a medical student, will also be editing videos, website building, coding, using Photoshop, Illustrator, generally any of these big, big programs. Because these kinds of laptops that I just now mentioned, like the MacBook Pro and the ones with top specs, they are better equipped to handle these types of softwares because of the workload that is produced by these softwares, it's so much and hence these laptops are genuinely able to handle them. Hence, if you fall into that category, then I would definitely recommend you to buy a MacBook Pro or any of these laptops with a really high spec. It's gonna make your workflow so much easier. However, if you don't fall into that category, then you don't need to splurge that extra money on the MacBook Pro or the, any of the laptops that I mentioned. You don't need to get the top spec whatsoever. Just the specs that I mentioned earlier 
that will be more than enough or also it doesn't have to just be these laptops that i mentioned it can also just be any other laptop generally of course within your price budget that's the most important but again try and bear in mind to keep those specs that i mentioned like what you actually need in medical school and as long as you have that and a price budget that suits you then that's perfect for you but what's really cool about the microsoft surface pro is that it also acts as a tablet and it comes with a pen so for people who do make handwritten notes you can actually make handwritten notes on the microsoft surface pro which is really really cool just like how people make notes on the ipad pro so that is a really really cool feature to be honest especially when going on hospital rounds it'll be fantastic to carry a tablet and instead of writing it in a small book you can just write it on the thing and you can you know categorize them and you can really organize your files in that manner so the microsoft surface pro sounds pretty damn good now finally the third point my personal recommendation slash opinion as to what is the best laptop for medical school my opinion would be buying any apple product now i don't want to be someone who's just selling apple 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 no i am someone who's been in both worlds been having a laptop that runs under microsoft so for example just as i entered medical school i had this fairly new samsung chromebook I had some really cool features and so on but already in the first few months in a very short space of time it already started slowing down quite dramatically to be honest purely due to the sheer amount of files and pdfs and books and stuff that i accumulated and how much i was actually Actually using the laptop day to day and when I started my YouTube channel and started editing videos it got even worse so at some point I had to buy a new laptop because it generally was freezing every other minute and once I got my MacBook Pro I never turned back whatsoever this thing here is a beast it is so powerful so smooth I've had this now for about two years now and it's been great now I do use my laptop to edit these videos of course and some of these videos can be quite large videos they have loads of components in them hence you do get the occasional glitch uh, the occasional slow down but again that is a bit normal but i also do overuse my laptop in that sense as well for me personally i would actually need a macbook pro with higher specifications as well but i can't afford that now so Aww. Anyway, I'm kidding. This does an amazing job. So grateful for it. Amazing. As I said, me having the MacBook Pro does not mean that I just push you guys to say that buy the MacBook Pro. Not at all. The MacBook Air does a great job. It really does. The MacBook Air is perfectly fine. As I said, you only need the MacBook Pro if you're editing videos, building websites, and so on. MacBook Air is sufficient enough. It does a great job. The good things about owning an Apple laptop is the fact that the interface is so smooth. Very very quick generally very very reliable you also have many trackpad gestures like here Ooh. I know it's not very professional looking but you know we do, do things like this bring up documents and so on and and honestly it seems like a small thing but trust me that makes your whole interface and your sort of workflow very very efficient now the drawbacks of buying a MacBook is the fact that it is expensive <laughs> money money neither dollar dollar now saying yeah <clears throat> it is expensive don't get me wrong but however you will not regret buying it at all you will not regret spending that money on a macbook honestly that money that you spend on a laptop that runs under microsoft like lenovo or huawei and so on honestly you rather put that money onto an apple product and add in maybe an extra couple two three hundred pounds and it will last you for a very very long time these things are reliable one of my close friends in medical school she has the 2012 macbook air i believe and she still uses that same laptop in medical school she also has a bunch of things and she also uses her laptop vigorously as well and her laptop is doing amazing still amazing battery life about six hours of battery life so after only for eight years that's crazy very quick no glitches now actually think about battery life the samsung that i owned the maximum battery life it got so bad a maximum of two hours that's it so guys that's my take on the best laptop for medical school again obviously i have my personal experience you know i'm being very very genuine i mean it's not like i'm sponsored by apple or anything and hence i'm you know, pushing you out there it's purely from experience it really is a good product you're not going to regret definitely but to sum it all up the most important things is to keep those specs as i mentioned and you should be good to go guys if you've come this far thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoyed this video or found this video informative make sure to drop this video a like and we'll make sure to share it to your friends and whoever who is in search of
of a laptop for university generally and as always if you want to see more well hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video peace